517 now as we wake up to a relatively mild start to the day. Temperatures are in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. The clouds have moved in and we are tracking some scattered rain showers back to our west and those will be moving in from west to east as we head through the next several hours. So as you head out the door, definitely want to take that umbrella along. A couple of live views will show you just a peaceful looking start to the day. The GVSU campus in Allendale and Western Michigan University campus in Kalamazoo. Temperatures for the most part are holding in the low to mid 50s from Grand Rapids off to the south. Otherwise just uh, low to mid 40s off to the north. So for this time of the year and certainly after such chilly weather that has been the hallmark so far this month of November. We are looking at that milder air being really a nice treat to wake up to here on this Wednesday morning. We've got winds out of the south sustained this morning at about 10 to 15 miles per hour and so that will continue to help push us into temperatures that will eventually reach the mid 50s. Scattered rain showers will be developing and then on the back side of this system we have much colder air settling in with a northwesterly wind shift tomorrow. That'll bring us some lake effect snow showers and then we've got seasonably cool air settling in for the weekend and the weekend looks most dry as well. Best chance of uh, any precipitation this weekend will be a few rain showers on Sunday. For today, or for yesterday, we made it into the mid-40s. It was actually a pretty typical mid-November day all across West Michigan. It was nice to see some sunshine around and temperatures that made it back into the seasonable 40s. Now here's a look at the satellite and the radar composite. We've got a warm front that is lifting through. Not a lot of moisture here associated with this initial push of warmer air. And as the cool front approaches from the west, it's going to generate a batch of showers and those will be rolling through late this morning into the early afternoon and then once we get on the back side of the system that's when we're going to see that colder air arrive and it will generate scattered lake effect snow showers as we head through tomorrow especially during the afternoon and early evening and some of those could uh, see some minor accumulations some areas on some of the grassy surfaces tomorrow tomorrow night into the day on friday now here's a look at the jet stream the upper level steering winds Southerly flow still in the atmosphere for today as that system moves across the central U.S. We see that big dip in the jet stream that will allow the colder Canadian air to stream in for Thursday. And as we see, the core of the coldest air begins to retreat by Friday, and that will actually open the door for temperatures uh, to climb back into the low to mid 40s for Friday, Saturday, mid to upper 40s on Sunday. And then we've got another shot at much colder air settling in with more snow showers as we head through the early part of next week. And it's almost hard to believe that a week from tomorrow, Tom, it's Thanksgiving. Wow. You know what? It, that is hard to believe, actually. Taking a look at that. Uh, all right. Well, we'll, we'll do it. Taking a look at how we're doing out there across area roadways right now. Uh, we do have a crash in the Holland area along the westbound lanes of I-196. Uh, this is before that uh, exit 52 at Adams Street. So far, though, uh, not causing a significant delay for drivers in that area. So just heads up if you're getting ready to head out the door and that is your uh, direction of travel. As we take a look at all the freeways heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area, Area. These ones are looking pretty good for us. We are crash free across I-96, 196, M6, and as well as US 131. No major problems so far. I'll have another look at that Wednesday morning drive into work coming up for you in about 15 minutes.